Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got our first 99 Ultimate Legends in Madden 21, guys. 99 Ultimate Legends are a big deal. That pretty much marks the beginning of the end in terms of overalls. Because here's the thing, right? So you see on the screen, we got Ed Reed, Calvin Johnson. Here's the thing with Ultimate Legends. Here's the thing with anything. When we receive certain overalls in limited quantities, it is what it is. When a weekly, when we get, when you get weekly promos, like our, when we get, our, when our weekly content gets that overall, that means that overall is now the new standard, right? So like, there was times when we had LTDs who, and you know, who were 94s or whatever. We had new cards were 94s, but our weekly legends were 93s, 92s, right? Once those weekly legends hit 94, it's like, okay, that's it. We're moving on. We're going to the 94 stage now, right? So once our weekly content gets to a certain overall, that pretty much means the whole entire game is headed in a new direction, right? Or, or headed to the next step. So seeing that Ed Reed and Calvin Johnson are now in the game, that does pretty much imply that 99s are now the new standard. Almost anything we're gonna get that's new is gonna be 99, unless they wanna be annoying, get us like a 95 team diamond from, or right? something like that. But even the team MVPs, we get 32 99s, we got these, it's over. All 99s now. Here's where I now hope that we get over 100 stats. Here's where I hope we get over 100 overall cards or 100 stats. That's all I want to see now. The LTD is Richard Seymour, as you guys can see. Slightly above my head right there. So those are the three guys we do got. This is pretty cool. A lot of 99s in the game now at this point. That means that a lot of 98s and 97s are going to start dropping in value. So do stay tuned for that. Because remember, now that we're getting all these 99s, it's only a matter of time before the 97s and 98s start to really drop in value pretty fast. Uh, especially as we keep getting more in the value. Once 99s are more affordable, of course. You know, right? In the meantime, it's gonna they're going to be expensive. You kind of just have to deal with that for the most part. Okay, so let's go. Let's go check them out. Let's see what we're working with. Newest. Jeez. Okay, Richard Seymour's already up as the LTD. We got Calvin. So I'm gonna go Calvin first because I feel like he'll sell out. 99 overall. Calvin Johnson, guys. Now the thing with Calvin here is he's got to get the speed, right? Okay, he's got the speed now. It comes down to agility and a few other things. So 97 speed, 98 jumping, 96 catching, 95 catching traffic, 99 spec catch, 95 short running, 93 medium route running, and 97 deep route running. So on the, just off the front, right? This card's insane. He's six foot five. Don't forget that. Six foot five, two thirty-six. On next gen, he's gonna be better because his body says he'll get 99 speed, 99 jumping, 99 catching, maybe 99 catching traffic, 99 spec. He will get 99 short running, 99 deep route running, and he will get 98. No, sorry, 90, 99 short running, 99 medium route running, and 98 deep route running. This card's insane. This card's absolutely insane. Now behind the cards is what's gonna matter here. So 82 strength, amazing. 95 agility, amazing. 96 acceleration great um 99 carrying power from kind of that's amazing over 91 change of direction 82 trucking uh you know low juke but that's okay we, we, we can deal with that 96 break tackle this calvin johnson car guys is the best wide receiver in the game and i don't even know if i don't even know if it's close right because you're getting a six foot five guy with 99, with 99 speed with almost 99 everything and he's pretty strong as well and if you're playing on next gen he probably has the body to pretty much just box out about anyone <clears throat> and breaks and tackles and of course the trucking too as well helps you know because the thing is 82 trucking may not sound great but sometimes you're playing corners like Deion sanders who have like a 20 like a, literally a 50 tackle and no power so they could just truck him over and sometimes they, people try to hit sticky with cornerbacks because they just i mean i do it myself right we're dumb i see i see a, a helpless receiver i want to hit sick him i might have the i might be using Deion sanders but i still want to hit sick i have earl thomas so people try to hit stick and calvin with the strength he has in the trucking and the stiff arm he's able to break some tackles he'll have above 90 spin move as well now the juke actually could get up if you want to go like the zone route the zone runner route but i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend yeah he's pretty good how much is he gonna go for i mean this card's gonna be expensive I, I i can imagine for a little bit these are the first 99s in the game uh yeah he's he's already down here uh yeah i i would say they're probably around 800k 700k is where they're gonna be consistently selling at and then maybe by like you know end of the day or a few days they'll probably end up being around like 657 i think i could be wrong it actually could go up you never really know with this stuff richard seymour is super cheap so he must be ass all right richard seymour is way too cheap he must be grossly disgusting i take it back maybe they'll be a little bit cheaper <laughs> i would say okay i'd say calvin's gonna be around 700 650k i'd say ed reed's gonna be around that maybe 550 they're getting pretty cheap already but richard seymour is horrible Jeez. okay let's go check his stats out Richard Seymour has an 82 speed. Yeah, he's ass. Okay, that's fair. The price is fair. This is the thing. Most people in this game at this point, you could find at least one guy at the position to get a 99 blocks, 99 power move. What you need now is speed. And then one backwards with that. That's a shame. 82 speed, 91 excel, 
98 strength, 99 tackle, 98 play rec, 99 block shed, 98 power move, 76 finesse move. So off the bat, guys, power him up, cam him up. You can get him up to 86 speed, just about, maybe 85 speed, uh, 92 excel, 99 strength, 99 tackle, 99 play rec, 99 block shed, 99 power move, 81-ish finesse move. So from a defensive standpoint, the card's an absolute monster, but from an athleticism standpoint, not great. He's going to be too slow, going to be like the older Aaron Donald cards, which we're fine, but now we're playing against... We're about to be playing against 99 speed quarterbacks or 99 speed golden ticket Vic, right? Not gonna be possible. Uh, jumping 90, that's decent. Can he do anything in a zone at least? You know, 99 impact blocking, that's good. Change of direction, 72, that's horrible. Does he at least have some? Nope, no zone coverage at all. Yeah, 95 hit power, that's good though. I mean, the card, the card's not good. I, I see why the price is what it is. This is very, it is a very upsetting LTD to pull. Calvin's a big name though, so Calvin was cool. Now, what I'm waiting for is the Vic, Dion, Lawrence Taylor, old legend as well as. Ricky Jackson. Ricky Jackson's gotten up there as one of the most elite old uh, ultra legends that we get, or elite legends that we get anymore. He's just he's just great. Uh, let's go to the next guy. Who do we have? Ed Reed. Ed Reed's right in the 600k range, guys. So these actually. Oh my God. Five. When I said later today, I'm in right now. They don't usually drop like this, and there's not a lot of them, right? That, that's kind of crazy. I think Calvin will hold some value. I think Calvin will be like 700, at least 650. I think yeah, Ed Reed might get into the five, but they also might come back up. But don't forget that that some of these cards typically do come back up slowly just because of the start getting bought out for the cheap price get okay, ed reed i know this card's gonna be good okay he's got 97 speed 97 excel 90 tackling 99 play rec 94 pursuit 90 man coverage 99 zone and 94 hit power so guys what i've been saying lately don't buy a new safety just wait ed reed's your guy ed reed's gonna be your guy because he's gonna get power from chem dope he's gonna get 99 speed 99 excel or 99 speed 98 excel that's great that's insane great user tackling above 90 play rec's gonna be 90 pursuit to 95 power from chem dope Man coverage will be a 97. Man, zone's already 99, so that's already done. I said power 95. So he's going to be one of the best users in the game, guys. He's going to be 99 speed with 95 hit power. With zone, with play rec, with tackle. His strength's only 75, but that's okay. Agility's going to be a 98, which is crazy. Now that change of direction. Oh, and the catching going to be a 95. 95 catching on a user is just absolutely insane for uh, safety. Carrying 77, that's good. Change of direction is going to be 98. Ball coverage 96. His juke's going to be a, what, a 93. His spin was going to be an 80, uh, 86. Spec catch is going to be an 85. Catch and traffic 79. Break tackle 92. Guys, this card's absolutely crazy. 81 cross. This has to be the best user in the game for a few reasons. What do you care for user? You're going to get 99 speed, 95 hit power, 95 catching, 86 spec catch. Like, he's going to be able to do everything from a user standpoint, and he has 98 change of direction. Best user in the game. Can also be left alone in the zone. No problem at all. Can be left in man. You can do a lot of things, like I said user is gonna be absolutely crazy but yeah guys that's about it for the video those are today's ultimate legends hopefully you guys did enjoy it. if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already head to the thumbs up button back and just click on that check out subscribe to the channel for later thank you so much for watching